I, I want to listen to something Adam Kinzinger said about the this unanimous finding of the RNC about legitimate political discourse and what a defining moment it is. Let's listen to this. It's a defining moment for the party, and I think it's a defining moment for every member of the House or the Senate or, you know, any Republican leader. Kevin McCarthy, obviously, who I think asked about this in response, he just, you know, went after Liz and I goes to show he is the weakest leader that has ever, frankly, existed in that position. <laughs> and so I think every member of the media, every citizen, every person out there needs to pin down every Republican and say, do you side with what the RNC did or do you condemn what they did? And don't let them, trust me, politicians are really good at kind of skirting around that answer. Don't let them on this one. I think it's so defining. Steve Schmidt, the defining moment. Of, of course it is, but it's not a defining moment for the Republican Party. It's a defining moment for the country. That violence where 140 police officers are assaulted, where these insurrectionists defecate in the United States Capitol, they urinate on the walls, they bludgeon people with American flags, they spray with bear spray. This is legitimate political discourse. We'll lose the country over this. Um, this, is, this is an enormous deal. No political leader in America from either of the two political parties has ever made such a declaration. You, you have the institution, the third oldest political party in the world, sanctioning fascistic violence. That is what this election is about. We will lose this country. Uh, at the end of the day, these next elections are going to be different than what 2020 was about, which was entirely, in my view, about, about Trump and his unfitness. These next elections are going to be about the American people. We have to decide if we're going to throw into the dust uh, bin of history, uh, put on the ash heap of the American experiment. And despite all the, the flaws of this country, all of its hypocrisies, this experiment, the American experiment, this nation made up of all the peoples of the world where every language is spoken, we have fed more people, we have freed more people, we have cured more people than all the other peoples of the world put together since the beginning of time. This is an exceptional country. Its greatest dissidents didn't seek to tear it down like Martin Luther King. They just sought to be included in its promise. He marched to the Lincoln Memorial to collect a promissory note. We're going to wash that down a sewer for Donald Trump. We're going to usher in an age for our children of political violence in this country. It is appalling. It is despicable. The line has been drawn. The issue is clear. There is no backing up from this. It has to be confronted, and the American people will have to decide, and that choice will decide whether we have peace and prosperity for this decade, the following decade, and the decades after for our progeny.